tiny at times like these Let all your damage, damage and be Carry your baggage up my street Make me your future history It's time Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Nina. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new, I'm happy that you're here. Today, we are learning a new Taylor Swift song, and I literally can't tell you how many times this year I have been able to say that. The amount of new music Fridays we've had with new Taylor Swift music is just like a blessing. So last week, The Big Red Machine, which is Aaron Dessner's band or group, put out a song featuring Taylor, which is funny because it's like featuring Taylor, but she literally sings the whole song, and it sounds Sounds like it could be on like folklore evermore. So when I first heard this song, I it felt so familiar. I was like, why do I feel like I already know this song? And it's literally like a mashup between Last Great American Dynasty, Long Story Short, and like the vibes of both of the, the albums. It's crazy. But anyways, so we are learning Renegade featuring Taylor Swift by The Big Red Machine. If you guys want to see the tab that I wrote for this song with all the chords, chord charts, and strumming and everything, that link's in the description box. It's on my website. You can download it. And if you guys would like to practice this with me, I post a full-length demo slash play-along on my other channel, and that link is in the description box below. Okay, so this song's actually pretty simple. It's got the same strumming for the whole song. We got our capo on the fifth fret. And it's possible to play this song without a capo. I just think these chords are more beginner friendly. So that's what we're doing today. The chords you're gonna need for this are G, C at nine, A minor, D, and then E minor seven. And that's all you're gonna need for the whole song. This song doesn't have guitar in it, like you can't hear the guitar. So this is just kind of the closest strumming pattern that I could come up with that's pretty easy. So feel free to switch it up if you like a different one better. There's not really an intro, but if you wanted to, you could single strum each chord once. So for an intro, you can do G, C at nine, A minor, and D, and just single strum those once. So it would just be like G. C at 9, A minor, and then D. And then it goes right into the song, and as soon as the like strumming beats start, that's when she starts singing. I will say the one thing that makes this a little difficult is that it's a little fast, but once you get it, you'll be good. Okay, so for verse 1, it's going to be that same chord progression as that little intro, G, C at 9, A minor, D. You're gonna do that twice, and then it goes into the chorus. But the strumming is going to be down, down, up, up, down, up, and then you do it again. Down, down, up. There's definitely a rhythm to it as well. Switch to C at nine. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we got A minor. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, and then to D. And you do that whole thing twice for the verse. So let's go a little bit faster. We got G. Now we sing, so try to play along with me. I tapped on your window in your darkest night. The shape of you was jagged and weak. There was nowhere for me to stay. But I stayed anyway. It's a fun song to play and just like really like, it's happy sounding but sad lyrics classic Taylor. So that's the verse, and then we move on to the chorus. So you're gonna do G, C at 9, A minor, D twice for this first part of the chorus, same strumming and everything, and on the last two lines it's gonna be E minor 7, G, C at 9, D twice. So I'm just gonna play it slowly, it's gonna be the same thing as the verse, so try to play along with me for this chorus and I'll sing it. Talk about time and times like these, Again, 
whole thing and then it goes into the next part which is just gonna be different chords same strumming so it goes E minor 7 That is the whole chorus there. If you want to keep practicing it, go over to the play along video in the description box. Verse two is pretty much identical to the first verse. Second chorus, you're gonna repeat that again. And then there's this instrumental between the second chorus and the like bridge. In the studio version of the song, obviously there's no guitar instrumental. It's kind of like, uh, I don't even know, like background production. So for the instrumental on guitar, it's going to be C at nine, G, A minor, D. So, and it, the strumming is gonna be the same as well. So we've got C and you just kind of do like a little quiet strumming. On the second time I like to just single strum because that's kind of what it sounds like if there's like a pause in the second part of the instrumental so we've got C at 9 we go and then it goes into this bridge but it's actually just a line from the first verse and it's just gonna be G C at 9 a minor D you start strumming and then it sings and if I would have known so you can go straight into the chorus you can build up that last d like Matter let them live. it's definitely got like a rhythm get into it I don't know. So you're gonna repeat the first part of the chorus again, and then it goes into like an outro where I think it's Bon Iver, like Justin Vernon is singing background on her. But I'm just gonna go with Taylor's vocal lines to make it simpler. Cause in the outro it goes, to need somebody, to need somebody. And so the strumming is gonna be the same. You're just gonna keep repeating that chord progression, G, C at nine, A minor, D. You think you're gonna do it, let's see, four times for the outro while, you know, their voices are layered and everything like that. And then you end on the D. So just for this last part, it goes, to need somebody, I need somebody. And it just, you know, it goes through this end of the chorus and you can just end on the D. And that's the whole song. It's super simple. Love these chords. They're so easy. I really like this song. I've heard mixed opinions about this song. So let me know in the comments if you're a Swifty and if you like this song because I've seen people who are like, this song just sounds like the rest of Evermore. This song is like not anything special. But I really like this song and I really like the perspective and I really like the chorus. So yeah. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. And if you'd like to see more tutorials, Tutorials, go ahead and subscribe turn on those post notifications because I post every Tuesday and Friday Also, I wore this shirt because I just thought it fit the cover of this song in this album It's just kind of like, you know, this was my failed attempt at a tie-dye shirt It's supposed to be red white and blue, but it's pink which you know love that anyways I will see you guys in the next video. Bye Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nina. That was aggressive. Wow It's fine. Okay, I was close. You five misses cause you hate yourself. Oh, the timing.